I. This is Yusuf from Dari.io. Today, we'll be talking about load balancing with Nginx and the security layer for our web page, which is SSL and TLS. I believe you should have read about the SSL and TLS to know much more about what it meant. Today, our task is to configure Nginx as load balancer. Furthermore, we will register a new domain and secure the connection using SSL slash TLS certificate in which we'll be doing shortly. I believe you will have been familiar with this diagram in which you have been doing so far. But today we'll be talking about Nginx. So now we need to firstly, let's register our domain. So you can just go to myfreenorm.com, register for it, then search for any domain you want. Just go to my service, register a new domain. You can just choose this, search for it. It will tell you the available, uh, the available domain you can get. So we can just choose this, then check out, continue. And then you complete the other. We are still waiting for the other to be complete. Now the other is completed. So now go to your my domains. It will lead, it will show you the domain that you just uh, selected, and it, the type is free. Go to my manage domain. It will give you the information about the domain you just created. Now we need to go back to our AWS page, search or click for Route 53. When it shows the dashboard like this, you need to create a hosted zone. So we'll go back to our domain, the domain we just purchased, our free domain, you copy it go back to your hosted zone, you paste it here in the domain name. Then since we are creating a public hosted zone, it will be in public, then we create the hosted zone. Now for our Route 53 hosted zone to be connected to our free domain name, we need to copy our name server from the Route 53 to the free domain we just created. So now we go to the management tools, name server. Then we choose use custom name server. Now we'll copy each of the each of the name server here to each line. Now we click on change name servers.
Now, presently, our route 53 and our free domain name has been connected to, the, to each other. So now we need to create a record for our domain name, which is the hey record. Now, before we create the record, we need to start up, spin up our load balancing, load balancer server in which we'll be using Ubuntu. So you try. We are using uh, uh, my key that I've created initially. So presently, our load balancer is server is coming up and it's currently pending. So we need to wait for it to get running before we could do anything. So now we need to copy our public IP in other words, we can use Elastic IP, but do will be charged for it. So for now, being, uh, we are still under the usage, uh, our free tier usage. We can, uh, we can use the public IP. Then we copy it. We go to our Route 53. We create a record in which our record will be pointing to our load balancer public IP. So now we create a record. We leave the rest in default. It has been created. Now we create another record, which is for www. The same is referencing our load balancer public IP as well. We create record. Now, our load balancer with our route 53 and our domain name, the three have been connected together. So now our load balancer is up and running. So we need to connect our load balancer. Maybe you are using Putty, maybe you are using uh, mobile XTAM. So any, any terminal you are using, you can just connect with it. Yes, we are connected with, with our load balancer server at the moment. First thing we need to do, we need to update the server and install our nginx since we are using Ng nginx our, as our uh, a re reverse proxy so we'll be using the hand command to combine two two commands together and it's just like a module to to combine two command together to use at the same time. So this will update our server and also simultaneously install Nginx on our server. So we wait for it to be completed. So now our server is complete. Our updating and installing installation of our nginx is completed now we need to clear our screen we need to enable our nginx at start boot so that if we restart our server our nginx will come up at the, uh, immediately so now it has created 
a symbolic link with the system D to install at boot time. So now let's check maybe our Nginx has been installed successfully. So now we can see it is active and running. So now let's clear our screen. We need to create a configuration for our uh, reverse process settings. So now we have to copy. Now we go back to our page. We copy our web server configuration into our reverse pro, uh, our load balancer. So now we need to create we need to create a config file in our nginx sites available in nginx location. So now we paste our web server information. Now, this is our web server information in which the server we create, the domain, our domain name we created, it will be in our server name. Do we still remember? Yes, it, it is toolingguyysf.ga. This is our domain, domain name. So we need to insert our domain name with our server name. So now this will be our domain name. Then we control hold to write to save our config file, then enter then control x to exist now we need to remove our default site so that our reverse proxy will will be redirecting to our newly uh, configuration file so we do that by using this this code now we need to check maybe our we need to check maybe our Nginx is successfully configured with this command. Now we can see it said our signatures is okay and it says our configuration file test is successful. Now we, we need to go back to our Nginx site enabled. Now we don't have any file here currently, but we need is we need to link our load balancer config file that we just we, that we created in our site available to our site enabled so that the uh, engineers can access our our configuration through it. So we'll be doing that using this command sudo link minus uh, dash s means symbolic link between this and the dot means in this location so if we do that now it has been linked if we check we can see our load balancer configuration file has been linked we can do that by using ls so it will show us the arrow linking the site available and our load balancer config to our site enabled. So now we can reload our Nginx using this command. Now it's reloaded. Let's clear our screen. Now 
if we go to our our free domain, the tooling guide, toolingysf.gh. If we check the website, it should redirect us to our web server. Presently, I believe we already had two web server initially in which we are using our Nginx to for a reverse proxy between both servers. Now, if we, if we check the title of our website instead of the public IP, we can see it is the tooling ysf.gh that it's showing. But now, if we can check, we'll see it's saying it is not secured. So presently, we need to secure our web page using Let's encrypt, in which we uh, we can call it SAT bot. Let's en encrypt. So now that's what we'll be doing at the moment. So now we go back to our terminal. We need to install the SAT bot software. The More so, after installing our SADBOS software, we need to, let's clear our screen. We need to in, install a module that our SADBOS, uh, it's just like a dependency in which our SADBOS will be using. So that will be Python 3 SADBOS Engine X. So we need to install that also. Now it is installed. So now let's check our syntax and reload our Nginx using this command. Now it says our syntax is okay, then our test is successful as well. So now we need to create a certificate for our for our uh, domain in which we just created. So now we'll be, now we'll be creating a domain, a certificate for our domain in which it will make it secured because presently we can see it's saying not secured. So now we'll go back to our terminal. Enter this code, this command, which is sudo subbot iphen iphen nginx with our the server name, the domain name, the domain name we created initially in the route 53, a record, the two records we created in the route 53, pointing to our load balancer public IP. So we press enter. So it will tell us we should enter our email address, a valid email address. So you press enter. It tells us to read the uh, service agreement. Press A to agree, enter. It says, uh, are we willing to share our email with the foundation? for further messages. We can choose yes or no, but I'm choosing yes. Then it's telling me now it's creating the certificate at the moment. So we wait for it 
to create the certificate for us. Yes, as we can see, it's created the certificate. It says, okay, it's deploying the certificate to our virtual host, meaning our load balancer config configuration file that is in the site enabled. So now it's telling us, please choose whether or not to redirect HTTP traffic to HTTPS, removing HTTP access. Now what this is telling us is that, okay, our uh, the domain we created, if we check it, it will be bringing HTTP, which is on port 80. But now we want it to be more secured, to be encrypted, in which anything we do on our web page will be in safer hand. So now we will choose to, to redirect all uh, all incoming requests from port 80 to port 443. So let's do that. So now it tells us, oh, congratulations, we are done. Yeah, it has already been, uh, congratulations, you have successfully enabled the HTTPS for both of our websites. Now, if we go back to our website, just refresh it. Now we can see it has changed to connection secured and our certificate is issued by R3 and it's issued to Tulin YSF.GA. So now if you already uh, connected your web server with your database server, you should be able to log in as well. So I think this is now, and also we need to create, we need to create uh, a Chrome, a Chrome tab, a Chrome tab uh, assignment so that the certificate will automatically renew each time it gets expired. So now we can do that with this command. Let's go back to our terminal. Let's clear it. From tab my dash E. So now it says, okay, are we using nano, vim, or which one to edit it? So I think we choose one for none. So now let's just scroll down. Now it says month hour, day of the month, month and day of the week, then the command we want to run. So now we go back to our page, we copy this, then go back to our terminal, we can paste it. So now it will be running every month, every day, 12, at 12 minutes of every hour, every day of the month, every month, and every day of the week, with the command in which it will be using root as the command, then it's, it won't create any log file for this. So we can just, Dev, dev no means not to create. So anything, instead of creating any log uh, file, it will be, it will not be able to create it. So let's just save this to X, yes. So now we can also link, we can link, since, since we don't, we didn't use our SAT uh, snap to install our SAT bot, so we don't need to link anything. So presently now, our website is up and running and it's secured as well. 
if the consent says connection is secure. So thank you very much. I hope you are able to learn one or two things from this video. Thank you. God bless.